Hello and welcome. I want to keep this video today super short. I just want to talk to you for a quick minute, maybe three, about a question that just came through that I think will be helpful to most people. It's about what do I do? What do I do when I find myself in a bit of a jam? In this particular case, the question came from somebody who was asking about what to do regarding estate planning. Now, estate planning is a whole huge field unto itself, and I'm not here to say that I am an estate planner. Please go find a good attorney to do that with. What I am here to say is that we often find ourselves backed into corners that we might not have anticipated, where we don't know that there is, or if there is even, a playbook for how to do it. And that's one of the things that I think it's really important to have a set of priorities and a set of clear stated goals in mind before you begin to tackle the bigger question of how do I do this. Think about it a little bit like you might think about building a house. If you already know that you are not into a contemporary glass encased house where everything is out in the open, then you're not going to begin to build a structure that way, thinking that, oh, I'll just cover up the glass. You're going to be thinking about, okay, if I want to build a house, what are the component parts or what are the pieces that are valuable to me? Do I want to have a super big kitchen? Do I want to have a backyard? Do I want to have a super big, you know, primary suite? These are the things that we begin to think about as we do something like building a house. We can apply those same principles to just about any other challenge that we may come to. We can decide what our priorities are, how we are going to tackle it, and then shape our decisions using those priorities. So in this particular case, using the estate planning piece, the question might be, okay, I want to preserve as much of my assets as I can. How do I do that? Or maybe it is, I want to be able to give away to as many charitable organizations as I can. How do I do that? In this particular case, it was the people that I might be leaving my estate to are not particularly trustworthy. What do I do then? So these are some of the questions to think about as you begin to think about how do I make these large decisions? I'm also going to put a pitch in here at the end to say that this is one of the things that intensive sessions can be useful for. Putting together those strategies, putting together those, those priorities, sounds like it's easy until we get there. So getting there and making those decisions often takes time. And that's what intensive therapy sessions workshops are for is taking the time to make these decisions in a situation and in a, an environment that is comfortable and not filled with a whole lot of pressure. So just putting that sort of out there, but more importantly, when we go to make big decisions, I would ask you to please get clear on your priorities, get clear on what's motivating you to make your decision, Please make sure that you're not coming from a place of fear or anger or retaliation. You want to make your decisions with an open and generous heart, or at least that's my best suggestion for you. I hope you find that helpful. If you do, you can subscribe to my YouTube page or sign up for more blog posts. My name is Lisa Curtis. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and a credentialed alcohol and substance abuse counselor. Until I see you again, I hope you have a good one. Bye.